Hey guys, this is LJ from LJ Films and another episode of Gear Guide and um, what I got here is a cable which is a um, simple cable which is XLR to 3.5 out jack so basically they call it mini jack um, there are a lot of cables out there where you can mount XLR to 3.5 and if you want to use your DSLR as a video this will be really really useful and because you don't have to have a, another separate audio like me which I have right now or something else and this will save you a lot of money when it comes to recording audio straight to your camera um, I picked this up again on BNH Photo this brand is by Peerstone and um, no it's not by Peerstone it's by Hosa um, LFPVC um, I'm not so sure what kind of um, brand it is but the brand I picked up is quite pricey I didn't get the cheap cables you can find anywhere um, if you try to go to any kind of um, store and you ask for XLR to 3.5 they may have the cables that you might look for but they will give you a lot of hiss and um, a lot of unnecessary noise or it will destroy your quality of your straight out of your microphone um, I'm just telling you guys because um, I had this experience I had this mistake when buying cables and so once so when you're getting a cable make sure you get the cable that is recommended at the same time a cable that will really last you forever and the cable that keeps the quality and the bitrate and everything something like that um, the microphone I have is an XLR out microphone which is an NTG2 microphone and this has an XLR if you have a Rode Video Mic or Rode Video Mic Pro, it comes with a um, 3.5 jack, so um, it will be directly um, attached to the DSLR or any camcorders or any um, cameras that has a 3.5 jack. And this 3.5 jack is the jack you see on headphones or your laptop or stuff like that. So this is really really useful. So just in case um, you have a microphone that has an XLR, let's just say you have a um, chip microphone you have and um and it's through XLR or even you have an you may even have an expensive microphone and you wanted to record directly through to your camera this is the way to go um you don't have to buy separate recorders to um sync sound later on or you may do that to get the best quality however if you are in a um, place where you cannot bring a lot of stuff let's just say you're doing a documentary film um, it will be really hard to you know sync audio in post or stuff like that so you want to get the audio straight out of your camera but using the built-in microphone of your camera is really really bad so um, if you have this cable and if you have the AGC off this is really really good and if you have a magic lantern installed you'll be able to see the um, levels on your LCD screen so this will help adjusting the audio so um, I find this cable really a lot and this is around 20 bucks or so um, there are other cables you can find on the um, other kind of things but I recommend Hosa and um, I also provided you guys the link where you can pick it up on BNH so um, get that one if you're planning to get XLR to 3.5 jack so um, I also did some tests for you guys so uh, make sure you check that out and um, yeah mic test this is the audio from NTG2 microphone with the cable from XLR to 3.5 to Canon 60D and it's recording straight directly to the camera itself and see the how we, and see how the quality goes so you heard the test so um, there's not a, a lot of difference depends on your camera if your camera records on 48 kilohertz um, the uh, sound will be transferred to 48 kilohertz and 16 bit so 48 kilohertz 16 bit is still high quality sound so you wouldn't really get it wrong with it and also if you have a Rode video mic you don't have to um, buy another this but let's just say if you have a um, shotgun which has an XLR or other kind of microphone that has an XLR and you want to record straight to your camera this is the way to go guys so um, if this cable might be too short for you um, you can get the longer cables but um, I, have, I like to have shorter cables so that um, in case when you want to uh, mount this camera with a shock mount I revealed on my last episode um, this will be a lot easier so once you connect and it, it's right into your camera you don't want to have cables hanging around on your rig and it's gonna bother you or it's gonna break cables or you're gonna step on it or stuff like that so I like to have a short but if I like to extend it I have an extender which I'll be reviewing on my next episode which is also by Rode and that extender will also um, give me the quality that I want and the extension that I want it's around 10 feet or so so again you don't want to get cheap kind of cables 
okay this cable is recommended is this necessary um i would say this is very necessary when you are trying to record a um straight to your camera rather than using the built-in audio um and this is not necessary if you have a microphone that already has an xlr to 3.5 but if you don't have any this will be a lot helpful <clears throat> you might be asking can i use this to the laptop um, I would say you can use it, but I wouldn't recommend you use it for the laptop because um, the laptop microphone has the 3.5 jack and that jack is not um, a mic a jack which is really really useful. So if you want to um, record high quality using your microphone to your laptop, you will be needing a, um, um, a converter where you will be having from XLR to USB, which I'll be reviewing on my another episode. So um, I'm getting complicated here and I'm also confusing you guys. So, um, yeah, today's this is it just one cable. Um, this is really useful. Um, I always use it if I want to get audio from the um, let's just say uh, straight out of the camera, and um, it's really useful. So, yeah, uh, go get this one and um, hope to see you guys next time.